So let's talk about Killzone Mercenary. This was one of my first Vita purchases based on all of the glowing reviews. And while Borderlands, which came with it, played pretty well, I uh, wanted to try out an actual AAA shooter that was built specifically for the Vita. And uh, this game does a great job of showing what this handheld is capable of. This and Uncharted are probably the perfect show-off games for the Vita. So let's dive into it. First off, it has its own story, but unlike Shadowfall, this one still plays and feels like classic Killzone. You play as a mercenary that's been hired to help support the ISA against the Hellgast. You take on specialized missions and get paid to do so, uh, which they remind you of a lot. Everything you do basically earns you money, and the characters talk about getting uh, paid quite a bit. There are some pros and cons to this approach. Uh, one of the cons being they talk about it all the time, and it gets annoying. But you do get to upgrade your gear and buy weapons in the field pretty frequently. There's boxes littered all throughout the campaign where you can access the black market. Uh, it's great since it's easy to wind up in a new area where your current weapon isn't right for the job, and typically there's a black market box within view, and you can quickly sort that out. The black market, however, does enable cheap gameplay. Uh, and this is cheap gameplay for the actual player, because if you're getting your ass kicked by a boss you encounter, you can just run to a black market, buy a rocket launcher, problem solved. Even the heavies that require you to do damage to their back in order to kill them can actually be sorted out with a rocket to the face, completely obliterating any tension and strategy. Rockets do come in handy quite often in this game. Uh, the controls can be a bit finicky given the limitations of the Vita thumbsticks. Precise aiming is harder than usual due to that, and uh, the game's aim assist is non-existent really. Now I'm not one who usually leans on aim assist, but on this system it can be quite helpful. Uh, you're going to miss the target more often than not during the first half of the game as you get used to the controls, at least that's how it was for me. But luckily the game's compatible with PlayStation TV. There were a few areas where I got stuck and based on the controls I had a hard time aiming and uh, taking out the enemy. So what I did is I plugged it into the PlayStation TV, fired it up on the big screen, used a DualShock 4, and those areas all of a sudden became a cakewalk. Uh, also, the game looks really good on a big screen. The main single player campaign is broken into nine short separate missions. I didn't try out the multiplayer, but that's not for lack of trying. I actually wanted to. I'm not a multiplayer guy, but for the sake of a review, I decided let's give it a shot. But I couldn't find anybody to play with, and that makes sense given the time the uh, game came out. It's a couple years old at this point. Uh, all in all, the game plays well. It runs very smoothly. No complaints in that regard. Uh, it runs on the same base engine as Killzone 3 on the PlayStation 3, and it definitely looks the part. Lighting, shadows, textures, they all look fantastic on the little screen. I'm actually going to play it through again entirely on the PlayStation TV and experience it on a big screen just because it's a short afternoon game that's pure fun. I beat the game my first time through in just under 5 hours. A lot of people complain about the length, but I loved it. It'll be great on a long road trip when riding shotgun. If I can complete a full game in the span of a trip, that's just going to make it go by that much quicker. So if you have a Vita and you don't already have this game, I highly recommend it if you like shooters. Uh, control issues aside, I loved every bit of it, and with practice the controls start to get easier. Hell, it could be just me, because I found very little complaints online about them. Either way, uh, you can find this new for about 25 bucks, used for even less, and it's worth the price of admission. Uh, however, if you can find it new, I would definitely encourage you to buy it new. The more new Vita games that are sold, uh, the more enticing it is for publishers to develop for it, even older games like this. So, I hope you enjoy the game, I hope you enjoyed the review, have a great day, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can find more content from us at thedailygoatshow.com. Also, feel free to subscribe, like the video, and check out everything else that we have going on.